Welcome to my garage. We're going to try a craft project. I bought a plastic pumpkin at Michael's. It was six bucks. And what I'm trying to do is I've seen this done with real pumpkins. I read how to do it and it seemed like I should do it with a fake pumpkin. So we are going to add some succulents to this pumpkin. And the tutorials I've seen online say, take a real pumpkin, hot glue moss to the outside, and then stick your succulents into the moss. That seems like it wouldn't last very long. I thought, well, maybe you could take a real pumpkin, you could cut a hole in it, you could stick your succulents in the holes, and it could use the moisture from the pumpkin to keep the succulents alive. Then I thought, why not just get a fake pumpkin, cut a hole in it, maybe drill some holes, and put the succulents in. So that's what we're gonna try and do. I've never opened up one of these. I don't know what's inside of them. Maybe one of you does, uh, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna start with the utility knife and see if the, that gets me where I need to be. I wanna cut the top off because a couple of the succulents I wanna use are pretty big. And I think, oh, it feels hollow. And I feel like they need to stick down in the top. And what my plan is, is just to uh, fill this with soil you know, succulent soil, stick my succulents in and let them root like they would root in any other container. And thank you to all the people who have said nice things about my haircut. I had a moment and I needed to cut all my hair off and it started getting a little shaggy. So I went to a local stylist today who's trying to help me grow it out. She gave me a new cut and I think she did a really good job. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so she's going to keep me from looking too shaggy while we grow it out. Because it's always good to have a project, right? And growing out your hair is such a great project. Uh, what I discovered when I cut it short is that I like it and it looks cute, but I can't put it in a ponytail, which I knew. I didn't realize how much I'd miss the ponytail. We were about three quarters of the way around. And you're with me for this whole journey. I'm not gonna, nah, I'll give you a break. I'll okay, I made it all the way around. And then I went around again to make sure I got all the, oh, and it is indeed hollow this is gonna work out perfectly. So here are the two big succulents that I'm gonna put in the top of this. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and cut some more. And you know what I think I might need to do? No, I'm gonna go get some dirt. I'm gonna get some more succulents and I'm gonna come right back. So I have some more succulents. The only one that I know what it's called is I have some Christmas cactus. These guys, I don't know what they are. These guys, I don't know what they are. But I put some dirt in and on the pumpkin, make it look realistic. And I got my drill in case I want to drill some holes. And I'm going to pull off a couple of the bottom leaves. Aren't these pretty? Uh, there we go. And we're just going to stick you in there. Now, this one's long enough. To get your succulents to root, it's always best to cut them and let them sit for a couple days and they form a callus and they root better. And also, if Diet Coke would sponsor me, that'd be great because this machine runs on Diet Coke. But I'm not really worried about these rooting. I just want them to look pretty, uh, maybe through Thanksgiving. And I think they'll do that in soil. And then, here, let's get the camera down a little further. And then we will stick a little Stick a little U in there, get you down in the soil. And I may need, oh, look at that. We need to cut you a little shorter. Let's cut you off here, cut you off here. Okay. And strip off some of the bottom leaves, stick you in here. And then here's the question. Should we drill some holes lower down and put some more things lower down. And I feel like, yes, we should. So, I'm gonna get out a drill bit, I'm gonna drill some holes, and do you wanna watch that? You don't wanna watch that, that's boring. I'll Let's go ahead and watch me drill this hole and see how much I foobar it up. Uh, oh, easy peasy. And then we'll stick this cool thing. Oh, let's get the leaves off. Stick you, oh. <laughs> Do you see that? This is gonna be amazing. These guys are a little skinnier, so I'm gonna get a skinnier drill bit. Okay, we drilled some holes. 
And look at this little cutie patootie. It's a little, uh, I don't know. It's, some of these guys are leaning the wrong way. But you know what? It's because they were, they'll be fine. They'll be absolutely fine. And you know what I'm thinking of doing? Is maybe I need to put a little moss on the outside of this. Just put the moss under here. Just tuck it up so it looks, let's give that a shot. I always have some moss around. It only took a second. Moss. And you know what? Moss just makes everything better, right? So we'll just take a little moss and we'll just tuck it up here underneath our friends to make it look a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Unified. Look a little more unified. Like this is all one thing. Yeah. Some neighbor's dog is having a heck of a time. There we go. Let's get you stuck in there a little better. That's what we were aiming for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to surprise Kelsey with this. I'm going to take it over to her house. I'm going to go, happy fall. And I think she's going to be delighted. And you know what? It's going to do just fine through Thanksgiving. And then I can put all of these, if they've rooted, in a pot. And if they haven't rooted, eh, we put them in the compost. That's what we do. So you saw how long this took. This was super easy. The hardest thing was going to the craft store, finding the pumpkin, and cutting the hole. That was the hardest thing. Oh, should we glue the lid of the pumpkin somewhere? I don't know, maybe. We'll decide that later. Things are coming along.